Hello, and welcome to Zerbrig.com. My name is Chris Zerbrig, and in this series of tutorials, I will be building a renaming dialog using PyQt for Maya. Now, along the way, you'll learn the basics of creating a simple dialog, as well as creating and connecting signals and slots in Qt. It's just a quick look at the finished product. Here I have a scene with four objects, which I'm going to select. And then I'm going to bring up my dialog. On the dialog, you'll now see all four of the selected objects. I can quickly rename these by double clicking and giving it a new name. In this case, my sphere, my cube. And you'll see that as I select them in my channel box, the names have been changed. For this tutorial, I'll be working with Charcoal Editor, but you're free to use Maya's Script Editor, Eclipse, or any other external editor that you might prefer. To start off, I'll create a new Python tab. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is import my PyQt modules. In this case, I'll need Qt Core as well as Qt GUI. Qt Core contains Qt's base classes, while Qt GUI contains anything that has to do with dialogues, windows, anything that's displayed on screen. Now, to build a new dialog, I'm simply going to extend from Qt's existing QDialog class. So I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to call it Renaming Dialog. Then I'm going to inherit from QDialog class. Next, I'm going to create my init method. This is the method that's called whenever you create a new instance of the object. And for now, I'm going to have the parent default to none. I'll change this in the near future, and I'll be explaining why. But I'd like to show exactly what happens when you don't assign a parent to a dialog. And next, I'm just going to pass the parent up to the base dialog. Additionally, I'm going to give the window a title as well as a size. So I can call set window title. I'm just going to call this renaming dialog. And I'm going to set a fixed size. Now, depending on the tools that you're building, you may or may not want to give the user the ability to resize a dialog. And I'm just going to make this 250 pixels wide by 200 pixels high. Right now we have a very basic dialog, but it will show up on screen. I'm just going to create a main if statement down at the bottom. Now what the if name equals main statement will do is only run this code if it's run in the main namespace. So what this means is if I move the code into a pipeline setting where lots of people are using it, the code in this main statement is not going to be run. But for testing purposes, it will run. So whenever I just run the code from the editor, it will execute this code. I'm just going to create an instance of the renaming dialog. And I'll show the dialog. And that's it. I've got a basic dialog ready to go. It's not going to do anything, but 
If I run the code, you'll see that the dialog shows up. Now this does have a problem though. This dialog doesn't have a parent, so it's not attached to Maya's main window. If I get rid of charcoal here, you're gonna see that the dialog disappears. And as soon as I click on Maya's main window, the dialog disappears again. This is because the dialog doesn't have a parent. In order to stop this from happening, we want to parent the dialog to Maya's main window. To do so isn't the most intuitive process, but it's one that you really only have to code once and you can just reuse the function over and over and over again. So for this, I'm going to need to import one of Maya's API classes as well as SIP. First, I'll import the Open Maya UI module. I'll import that as OMU. Additionally, I'll import SIP. Next, I'll create a helper method, or a helper function, I should say. called Maya main window. And this is simply going to return a pointer to Maya's main window. So if I call open Maya UI mqtutil dot main window, this is going to return a pointer to the main window. But before I can use it, it needs to be processed into something that PyQt understands. And this is where SIP comes in. If I call wrap instance, so now I'm going to be returning the pointer to the main window as an object that PyQt understands. Next, I'll update my init function so that by default, it's going to call this function. Now, if I run the code, you're going to see that the dialog hasn't changed at all. But if I close down charcoal, you're going to see that the renaming dialog now stays on top of Maya's main window. It will no longer fall behind Maya when you start working in the viewport.